Hey guys, it's Jonathan here from Rivers and Robots and Set Sail, and today is another episode of Things We Like. Things we like, things we like. This is a segment that we started on our vlog a while back, and it's just an opportunity to share some things we like, whether it's books, whether it's music, might be art, might be video, whole bunch of stuff. And today I want to recommend 10 worship artists who you may not know, but you probably should. Being in a band like Rivers and Robots, whose aim is to make worship music that's really creative and different. It doesn't necessarily sound like the usual worship sound. And a lot of people ask us for recommendations and if we know other artists that are doing similar things. And the answer to that is yes. So this isn't a top 10, it's not a ranking, it's not a definitive list of um, all the worship artists that we know. This is like just 10 for now. We could probably name 50 to 100. Before I even jump into this list of 10, I wanna give a little plug for our Spotify playlist, which is called Indie Worship. On this playlist we have about 30 songs, all from different artists, and we try and keep it regularly updated with different artists, different songs. So if you want to hear music like Rivers and Robots and other kind of indie, worship, creative kind of stuff, go and check out that playlist. I will put a link to that in the description of this video. So first on the list is an artist called Lucy Grimble. Lucy's a worship leader down in London and we've met her at events like David's Tent uh, where she's often leading worship there and she's already put out an EP and she's working on a new live album. She's already released two of the songs from that album, Undivided and Heaven. Amazing live videos, the band is incredible. You might even recognise Kalani in the videos on percussion. One of my favourite kind of things in worship is spontaneous worship and those moments that just sort of come out in a time of worship and are captured live. Um, but done with such creativity and such a good level of musicianship that it sounds so good even in these spontaneous moments. And um, the full album is going to be out soon, but make sure you go and check out the two live videos that she's already released. They're amazing and um, keep an eye out for the album. Number two, Montel Fish. This guy is a hip hop producer, rapper, singer, all round talented guy. We actually connected a few weeks ago uh, through one of his YouTube videos and we just like emailed back and forth and then had a bit of a chat. So it's been awesome to get to know him and just hear some of his heart and his passion uh, for why he does what he does. Last year he released an album called As We Walk Into Forever, which is a real nice blend of like hip hop with some cool like guitar stuff, some really like chill moments, some really worshipful moments. It's really real and raw and honest and uh, he's actually working on a new project which is going to be called Bedroom Gospel and it's coming out I think on the 4th of April. He just released a video for Love You Night which is one of the tracks from that project and it also features a track that um, we actually collaborated on which I'm really really excited for you guys to hear. So go check out his music, he also has a YouTube channel where he shares like vlogs and behind the scenes, talks a little bit about the music, shows how he produces some beats, um, so go and subscribe to his channel as well. Number three is an artist called Rafe Stanage. Oh. If you watched our last vlog, you'll have seen him opening the set at our gather event with some acoustic songs. He's got a great voice, great melodies, I love his song structures and just the way the songs flow and really worshipful as well and great lyrics. Um, so he's posted a bunch of songs on SoundCloud which you should go and check out. He's really just a great songwriter and artist and someone that I'm excited to see develop and grow and I'm excited to hear what comes next. Number four, Mariah. These guys used to be called Mariah Sessions and are now just Mariah. Uh, they released a track called Carry Me Away with a little bit of a vibe of like the XX with really cool vocals and like chill guitar stuff and just sounded beautiful. These guys are all from the same family, they're all siblings and they create great music together. They're actually working on a new project right now which is going to be coming out very soon and uh, so I'm really excited to hear what that sounds like. If it is anything like the first one, I'm sure it would be great. So go follow them on like social media and keep an eye out for their next release. Um, I think it's going to be awesome. Number five is Paul Choi. I'm on a journey to be more like you. Now I stumbled across this guy on SoundCloud a while back. He's from Los Angeles. He's just got three tracks on SoundCloud at the moment, but they're really beautiful. Every time I go back and listen to these tracks, it just feels like I've walked into like this worship moment that's going on somewhere and uh, it's really beautiful. So I recommend checking out his SoundCloud page and he also has a Bandcamp. Oh, I just clicked through his SoundCloud page and I found that he's got a whole EP on Bandcamp six tracks. Um, I will definitely be getting that after this video and having a listen. Um, number six is an artist called Harvest. Uh, 
a lady called Harvest Parker. She's actually the sister of Daniel Bashta. Harvest put out an EP called Curtains back in 2013, and it's one of my favourite EPs. Uh, they feel like songs that have come out of a prayer room environment. The lyrics are so rich and the production is great, it's very electronic sounding. I've sung some of these songs at prayer meetings before and they work really well for that. So Harvest actually right now is running a Kickstarter project for a next album, uh, which I'll put a link to in the video again. I want to encourage you guys to go and back that project on Kickstarter because if it's anything like the first EP, I think it's going to be amazing. Uh, I for one am really excited to hear new music from Harvest. So. As of right now, there's 27 days left on the campaign, so plenty of time to get involved. Number 7 is an artist called Mountain Tops. And this guy's pretty new, he actually got in touch with me through Facebook and we kind of connected that way and just I've been enjoying watching that whole journey unfold and he's now starting to release songs. There's two available on Noise Trade, a song called Let the Rivers Clap Their Hands and another one called There Is None Like Our God. Both great songs. The artwork's been done by Andy J. Miller, who's one of my favourite illustrators too. There are only two songs out at the moment, but I recommend giving those a listen, following him on social media, and uh, seeing what happens next. Number eight is an artist called Danny O'Callaghan. <laughs> Again, like Lucy Grimble, we've really enjoyed hearing him lead worship at David's Tent and hearing some of the songs in a live context and now getting to hear them on the EP is really awesome. And he recently released an EP called Son of My Father, which is a beautiful EP. Uh, the production on this EP is amazing, like the guitars and the drums and just the whole sound of it is great. But for me, the production is always secondary to songwriting and I think the songwriting on this EP is just great. Um, it's creative, it's worshipful, it sounds amazing, you should go and listen to it. Number 9 is an artist called Taylor Armstrong. I actually mentioned him in the last Things We Like video, so I won't cover the same ground that I did in that video. He's done a great album that you should check out. You can hear what I said about it last time. The reason I'm mentioning him again is that he's working on some new music right now, and he actually just put out a brand new single recorded uh, with a guy called Paul who's based at Bethel and the production is like really different to his album. Um, I know a lot of people really liked Taylor Armstrong from the last recommendation, uh, so I just wanted to give a plug for his new single and uh, make sure you go and check that out, it's very cool. And number 10, one of my absolute favourites, Bifrost Arts. These guys are a bit more of a collective rather than individual artists, but they've done a whole bunch of compilation albums that are beautifully recorded, a lot of songs based on psalms, and the songs are so good and so well produced. They've done a Christmas one, they've done one based on Lamentations, and they've done an album called He Will Not Cry Out, which is probably my favourite of their collection, but they're all great in their own way. Every time I listen to them, I have a different favourite track, and uh, they're just so good. Alright, so there we go, there's 10 worship artists that you may not know that you should go and check out. As I said at the start, this is not a definitive list, there are way more than 10 that we could mention. So let us know in the comments if you've listened to any of these artists, if you have any personal favourites, or if you want us to do more videos like this where we talk about uh, artists that we like. Things we like, things we like. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and we will see you next week. <laughs> Set sail video blog. Set Sail Video Blog It's a video, it's a blog as well Set Sail